Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Great Loop Yacht Sales YouTube channel. Today I am super excited to give you an exclusive walkthrough of my Seabill. Our stunning, or this stunning, 2003 Lagoon 410 S2 Catamaran. But before we dive in to the details of this amazing boat, I want to play a little game with you guys. You know, I'm in one of my favorite places in the world today to take this video, and I want to go through some of the reasons why it's my favorite place and see if you guys will play along and if you can guess where I am. Of course, we're going to look at great shots of the boat while we're doing that, but who knows where I am? Can anyone guess this special marina? You know, this marina has a lot to offer. And I've got three things that I want to tell you about this marina and why I love it so much. So the first thing that I'll give you some hints, right, is about the staff, right? So the staff here is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give a shout out to Kyle, Dan, Gina, and Matt, just to name a few. There are many more. But another great thing about this marina, besides the staff, is also the community of boaters here. And I have been lucky with my family to be a part of this community a few times. And the community is absolutely fantastic. So if you're a cruiser or a boater, you want to be a part of this marina community because they're incredible. And then finally, I'll talk about the owner. The owner is incredibly engaged in the marina, always looking for ways to make the marina a better place, to make it more cruiser friendly. And they just take great care of not only the marina, but also the community. And they're always looking for ways to improve. So stick around until the end of the video and you'll find out if you guess the right marina and um, find out why this marina was voted the best marina in the country, the United States, in 2022. So with that, let's get started, though. I know we're here to talk about my Seabill. So without further ado, let's talk about this beautiful, beautiful 2003 Lagoon 410 S2. So this is three cabin, two head, owner's version catamaran, packed with tons of amazing features, making it great to go sailing. Oh my gosh, can you imagine hanging out in the Bahamas in this boat for a long, long time and enjoying those beautiful breezes, that crystal clear water, this boat will take you there and you will love it. It's also great for liveaboard life. And if you wanted to do that, um, just an awesome, awesome boat. You probably saw as I walked on the dock, that beautiful Rockna anchor. It's got brand new anchor chain and road. All that was updated in 2021. Updated SD60 sail drives. The starboard one was actually just replaced this year. The boat boasts, uh, we probably just passed it, 960 watts of solar power, a wind generator, Xantrex inverter, always powered up, right? And check this out. Because of that, even though this is 2003, generator hours, I'll probably mention this again, 261.7 hours, right? 0.7 hours, 261.7 hours on the generator, right? Recent upgrades, these are new trampolines, dinghy's been updated, this cockpit table that you're going to see in just a second is absolutely stunning when we stick our head around the corner, right? New batteries. Um, there's a separate battery now for the wash down pump. Um, new Garmin in the at the helm. Uh, the Isinglass, as you guys can see as we peek around and we spin around, has been updated. It's in great shape. Comfortable cockpits, cushions that are also in phenomenal shape. So my Seabill is ready for her next adventure. All the standing rigging was replaced in 2022. Bottom paint was just done in 2024. She is in top-notch sailing condition, ready to roll. So stay tuned, jump in, subscribe to our channel as we dive deeper into my Seabill, right? So that is a 25-horsepower uh, Yamaha motor that is new on the Tender. Tender, I believe, is a 2022 model, and the motor is even newer than that. All right, love, love, love this cockpit. Down on the sugar scoops, right? You gotta love that. But look at this, the colors are great. Headroom is great. And that table is absolutely beautiful. I think the owners just did a phenomenal job with this cockpit area. Love the teak floors. What a great place. Can you imagine hanging out? I mean, I know me for one, I'd be taking a nap down there, having all my meals there. Phenomenal setup. 
right? Launch the tender, let's go visit the islands, let's take the dog for a walk, whatever it is, right? Table folds up, we'll get bigger. There's some slats that slide out underneath that that will hold it up. But man, is this a cool boat. You can see the EPIRB over there mounted. Uh, I've got some storage up on top. This helm is awesome, right? So we've got a new Garmin updated here. We've got autopilot, um, you know, centerline compass there. Big old nice wheel. Um, some updated uh, Yanmar controls as well. Um, one, one of them's been updated. That's the port side that's been updated. But just a really, really cool lookout uh, of, uh, of this boat. All right, so we're going to get down here and look at, uh, you know, depth we got in the right spot. We also have gauges up on the bow. I think I missed that, but I love up on the trampolines you're hanging out. You've got gauges. Even the AIS warning will go off. This boat's equipped with AIS. Uh, as well. So that's kind of cool. I was, I was, uh, you know, on filming day, I had the, all the instruments on and everything, and I got an AIS warning. Of course, we're in a marina, so somebody else had, you know, left their units on as well. But uh, anyway, check out this view. I love the salon of this boat. Space, space, space. Of course, salon, galley, huge open area. The owners just done such a good job with these curtains, too. These um, glasses slide open as well, so you can get some, even right there at the kitchen sink, you can have the fresh air uh, in your face. And uh, I love the little um, station here, a little nav station. Um, you could see it's an older Garmin, but you do see the AIS targets on there, right? So we're still, and this is the same unit that I run on my boat currently, uh, upgraded VHF, ice cold air conditioning in here. Um, but I love the little curtain she made. I didn't get a great shot of them, but they have these little ties, uh, the way she ties the knots in like this figure eight. It's just so perfect. I, I really an awesome boat. So, hey, we've, we've stepped down. This is your guest side of the boat, right? So this is guest stateroom. We'll call this guest stateroom number one. Got some extra Isinglass pieces here. I'm pointing that on the bed. Those will kind of come down the side of the outside helm area. Um, you know, but just, it's spacious in here, right? This is super spacious. Wait till you see the head right here, guys. Enormous. Enormous head between these two staterooms. They do share it. The, um, I guess this is the port side um, hole that we're in right now. Um, you know, great sink area, shower with a little bench there, teak. It's just, look at the flooring, guys. It's just gorgeous. So, Xantrax uh, inverter, you see the control there, the Victron uh, battery new monitor. We're going to go through these gauges kind of quick, but if you, uh, if you see something you like or you got questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, wash down pump. Here we go, the 261 hours on the uh, Northern Lights generator, right? So that's pretty sweet. Uh, so got lots and lots of time back on that. But I think, you know, part of the hours being so low is because you got the wind generator, you got the solar, you got a great battery set up. So if you want to go and sit in the Bahamas and hang out for a while, not have to go to a marina, be on anchor, tender in, just enjoy life, man. Be, be away from it all. This boat will do that for you. And to me, that's just the dream, right? So just sounds fantastic. So check out how big this um, head is, right? So this is just another look, right? So this is the same head we just went into, but this is a look from that forward port side bow stateroom. It has, you know, an ensuite feature. I guess you walk through the shower there and, and you're in. Lots of storage, um, all over this boat. We'll come back in a bit to check out the engine room um, that's below that uh, port side, um, you know, aft bed as well. All this cushions and all this fabric on all these sofas has been redone. It's just in great shape. The galley's beautiful, an actual sink you could wash some dishes in, water filter system. This deep freeze is enormous. So I don't know, put your catch in there, take as much food as you want to the Bahamas. Um, you can't really see the curtains, but I just think they're, they're great. Propane stove, right? So love the propane stove. You don't have to start the generator to cook. Um, you can see all the different faucets with the, um, you know, that would allow you to have the filtered water. Just a great area. Watch a movie up here. Just super, super nice. Um, down here, this desk and workspace. Just awesome. This is the owner's stateroom, if you will. Uh, down here, we've got the head and shower compartment are forward and this beautiful queen size bed, owner's stateroom TV at the foot of the bed is in the back of the boat or at the aft of the boat. Um, they just have done just such a great job. 
uh, decorating and it's the, the wood and everything's nice and light, it's airy, um, you know, tons of storage and all these cabinets, uh, you know, just a, a wonderful, wonderful spot for you to go cruising. Look at the storage cabinet here on the right as well. A lot of people do put a washer and dryer in um, here in the head on the left here. They've got it set up as closet space. We'll see it as we come out a little bit better, but um, uh, sink area and then this big shower uh, also on this side right here forward in the great headroom in here as well so just just so everybody knows that I'm six foot two um, I think the owner's even taller than me but uh, you know you're not going to be cramped for space in this boat so isn't she beautiful you know call me and let's schedule a time to come and look and make your tropical dreams happen on this boat. It can be your new paradise, uh, my Seaville. Just such a cool thing. So we're gonna go upstairs, get one more quick look at the salon, and then kind of jump around in the video. We're gonna jump down and look at the uh, Yanmar engines uh, on the port side, and some batteries and solar charge controllers. We'll take a quick peek at some of the engine rooms. So a little bit of a funny transition here in the video, but back down low under the bed, this is what we look like when we pull up that. And here's my video of the engine room. Uh, you can see all the Victron equipment over there on the left. We've got batteries down here below. And then the Yanmar four cylinder engines. Um, you know, like I said, the SD60 sail drives, engine hours on the boat around 1900. But here she is cruising away at night. I just think that's a cool video the owner shared with me. Got the um, deck lights on or the spreader lights up top coming down uh, on the boat as she departs. So um, ready for her next adventure, ready for you to jump aboard. Please call me again, Brent Bolin with Great Loop Yacht Sales. You can reach me at 865 216-7628. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep the comments coming, but let's go back. Who could guess the marina? I forgot at the beginning, we had the marina. Who's gonna guess? That beautiful marina with the great cruising community, the amazing staff, the great owner. What more could it be than Brunswick Landing Marina? This boat is ready to be shown at Brunswick Landing Marina, just north of Jacksonville, Florida. Great little hurricane hole, but uh, come and, set up a time and I would love to show you my Seaville.